Lance Armstrong salutes the crowd. Seven times a winner of the Tour de France. This most In the coming weeks, the last, cycling's governing body, the UCI, will deliver its verdict on one of modern sport's most words. celebrated Bernard icons. The seven-time winner of the Tour de France, Lance Armstrong. The United States Anti-Doping Agency says that Armstrong was a drug cheat, part of an organized conspiracy by the U.S. Postal Service team to dupe the public and fool the authorities. The totality of the evidence is overwhelming. You're looking at the Bernie Madoff of sport. This is the biggest fraud in the history of sport, the biggest. He couldn't have done it alone. When money's involved, big money, um, then of course the cheats come as well. Lance Armstrong entered cycling as a brash young competitor, full of enthusiasm but limited in his all-round ability. His mentor then was the Australian racer Phil Anderson. Did he strike you in those days as, as a cyclist who could eventually win the Tour de France? For me, no. To be a, a, uh, a good tour rider, you have to be a good time trialist and you have to be a good mountain climber. And uh, he wasn't particularly strong in those two areas. To me, he didn't have what it, what it took uh, in those early years. Lance Armstrong was then with the American Motorola team. So too was New Zealander Stephen Swart. Stephen Swart says that in 1995, when Phil Anderson had left the team, the riders complained that their European opponents were doping. Did you talk with Lance Armstrong about the need to, to start using EPO to be competitive? We had, we, had, we had a discussion about it, yeah. What did Mr. Armstrong say? He did say, you know, if we're going to the tour, we've got to, we've got to perform. We need the results. What, does, what did that mean? I think he just said he didn't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out, you know. If we were going to, if we were going to be competitive, there was only one, one road to take. Was there a discussion about doping in any way with Mr. Schwartz? The only aspect that is true is that he was on the team. Beyond that, not true. The doping allegations arose in a case brought by Lance Armstrong against an insurer based in Dallas, Texas, who provided huge bonuses paid to Armstrong for winning the Tour de France in successive years. Uh, these are the checks making the first two payments under the contract. Um, these checks represent when he won on the fourth and the fifth, making those payments for 1.5 million and then 3 million. Uh, obviously, no one ever won six before. Attorney but, Jeff but, Tillotson uh, represented the insurer, who refused to pay a further five million dollars like when Armstrong won his sixth uh, Tour de France in 2004. Obviously, no one would want to guarantee a payment to an event that was fixed or to which someone was cheating, because that's a risk no one would take. Well, was it fixed? Well, my client, and I, we think now the evidence clearly shows that Lance Armstrong was, in fact, using performance-enhancing drugs for both the fourth, fifth, and sixth Tour de France races, which are the ones my clients had risk on. We also think the evidence we developed showed that he had been using performance-enhancing drugs long before we ever got involved, um, and even dating back to the beginning of his career. So in my client's mind, yes, those races were fixed. Mr. Armstrong, my name is Jeff Tillotson. I represent... Jeff Tillotson has done something USADA has been unable to do. Whether it's a blessing or a curse, I remain the only lawyer to, to have actually taken sworn testimony from Lance Armstrong and to have had him deny under oath with the penalty of perjury that he used performance-enhancing drugs. Uh, you understand that although we're in the conference room of your lawyers, you are giving testimony as if you are in a court of law. Do you understand that? Correct and that penalties of perjury attach uh, to this deposition just like they would to a court of law proceeding. Of course. Did you, in fact... Tonight, for the first time, races, sworn depositions from Lance Armstrong and other key witnesses are being broadcast. This evidence laid the foundation for later investigations, including USADA's.